Hey everyone, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. I have another Ditch It video for you guys today. So this is the third video in my Ditch It series, How to Live a Less Toxic Life. The first video was about plastic utensils. The second video was about dryer sheets. And now this is the third video and it's gonna be all about scented candles. So uh, a lot of people burn candles. I love candles myself. So I actually grew up in a house that always had candles burning. Nani over on Nani's life, she was a huge fan of all types of candles, especially like the candles that were three or five wick or whatever always and forever burning candles and um little did we know how dangerous or toxic scented candles would become now i don't know what it was like back then in the late 90s and the quality of those candles i don't know if it was the same as what there is today but i know that most candles today actually have four harmful parts to them and again, it's dangerous to both humans and even to pets. This goes back to the, um, the fragrance that I talked about in the dryer sheets. So the first thing that can be dangerous is the wick, which often contains heavy metals like lead. Then there is the wax. And if it's a traditional paraffin wax, then it is often made as a petroleum byproduct. Then... A lot of the candles have artificial colorants to make them, you know, that vibrant green or red or whatever. So they release the colorants while they're burning. And then finally, there is that fragrance aspect. You know, most people like to light a candle to clear the air of a smell or whatever. And I totally get that. I do that myself, but there's better ways to do it. And I'll get to that here in a few minutes. So while someone burns candles, toxins as dangerous as secondhand cigarette smoke are continuously being released into the air from, again, the wick, the colorant, the wax itself, and from the fragrance. This makes scented candles a huge source of air pollution, unfortunately. And that's, that's air pollution that gets very heavily concentrated into a small area to boot. So that makes it a little bit worse. So these toxins that are in most candles, and there are other toxins than just what I've, what I've talked about. Um, those are just the main four that run consistent in a lot of standard candles that you would buy at a regular store. Um, most of those toxins are known carcinogens. They are known to cause cancer. These toxins then accumulate in your body because you are smelling it day in and day out, all hours of the day. In addition to the smell of your dryer sheets or the smell of your perfume or your body products or um, laundry detergent, any of that, you're constantly smelling all of those toxic fragrances. If you guys go over to my website, theholistichomesetter.com, and you go to the bottom of the homepage, you guys will see a search bar and you can search for ditch scented candles. This article will pop up. You'll be able to reference the uh, sources that I found. I used Green America, the EPA, and South Carolina State University for this information. Whenever I'm doing any kind of research like this, I like to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. I don't want to ever mislead anybody. This is standard information that you can obviously find very easily on the internet. Um, it's mostly just a way to, to entertain you guys. And this is mostly my plea to you guys to please pay attention to what is in your environment. Um, I mentioned in the last video that it's not always about cutting things out forever. Um, if you are one of those people that absolutely loves to burn scented candles, then do that. Like do what makes you happy, but have this knowledge, harbor that, and use that 80-20 rule. If you are going to continue to burn scented candles, being fully aware that this is what is in them, then maybe change the brand to a safer brand of candle that is only beeswax. Make your own beeswax candles. I can tell you to even go as far as to have bees, beehives and to harvest your own wax and then make your own beeswax candles. But that's getting a little bit out there, I know. Um, 
If any of you do that, by the way, drop that down in the comments. That's awesome. I would love to be able to do that. But if you're one of those people that you have to have scented candles, well, make better choices. Use a different brand that is safer or, you know, do something else in your life that is better for your body. Maybe cut out body sprays, maybe cut out um, scented dryer sheets, maybe cut out scented laundry detergent. Make other swaps so that having a scented candle isn't such a huge impact on your body and the toxin overload. So those are my biggest tips. So when you go to replace your candle, you want soy is okay, but soy is often genetically modified, which means it's grown in herbicides and pesticides and fungicides and all those things. And I don't normally recommend that. Beeswax is where it's at. Um, if you can source beeswax, I just got out of the shower and my hair is crazy. Um, if you can source beeswax from a local person, then do that. That would be even better yet because you're reducing that carbon footprint of how far the beeswax had to come from. Um, if you can't do that, they do sell beeswax here and there and everywhere. You can make your own candles or you can just buy a straight up beeswax candle. If you like things to be scented, oh, also look for a cotton wick or especially like organic cotton wick, which is getting harder to do. But if you're going to make candles yourself, maybe you could invest in organic cotton wicks to make your own candles. You can also use organic hemp um, and even there they make wooden wicks that work great. So there's a candle company that I really love. I'm going to link it below in the description because you can find them on Amazon. It is the Candle Journey Company. I still have one here with a label so I can show you guys what this looks like. They have a bunch of variety of colors of candles and they have, there's a meaning behind each one. The reason that I love this company is because they are uh, scented only with essential oils. Now as somebody who uses candles like this for manifestation purposes, I do, this is one of those areas in my life that I am not willing to forego a good quality candle um, altogether. I'm going to make a purchase from a company that's American made. These are really big, like three inch pillar candles. They last forever. I am not one of those people that just burns a candle just to burn a candle. Like I said, I use a candle for manifestation purposes, for protection, for clearing the energy in a space. This is a healing candle. That dark purple color is part of the healing process. This has to do with chakra alignment and all of those kinds of spiritual things. You manifest with this candle. It's a Reiki energy charged candle to boot. So every time you light these candles, Reiki healing energy is being admitted into the environment, helping to balance your chakra points. Um, there is always a message on the label and this is kind of what you're to think as you are lighting your candles. It says, I feel the healing powers of the white light and am drawn closer. I am healed and restored to wholeness. And I love that. I love that the candle company gives you the words. It gives you the thoughts of how to heal yourself. And it kind of empowers you in that way. It also tells you the essential oil blend that is in this candle. This one, for example, has lemon balm, cedar, heather, and ocean. So this is my favorite candle company. You guys can see, I don't use, I don't use candles a lot. Um, it's usually a maybe once a week, couple times a week. Um, the candles that I often use the most, because they have candles, this is a healing candle, but they have candles for health. These are the ones that I have, health, healing, protection. It's the black candle and it's my absolute favorite. That's the one that I light the most. Um, money, abundance. I think those are the ones that I have, but they have ones for love, for um, laughter, joy. They have tons of different candles, all in different colors, all with different essential oils, all with different manifestations. And all of those colors align with different chakra points in your body, whether it's your third eye, your throat, your heart, etc. Um, they're just 
herbal magic and that's what it says on the bottom so if you guys are interested in those candles i'm gonna link them below in my description i hope you have enjoyed this video and you've learned a little something about scented candles and how to make better choices don't maybe don't eliminate them altogether if you're like me but make a better choice um one more thing before I go, I've been trying to throw this out because I know different people see different videos, but over on my website, theholistichomesteader.com, if you guys go over there, um, there will be a pop-up and it's for a free elderberry mini guide. And basically what that is, is a couple pages of information that I designed all this myself, um, a couple pages of information about elderberries and why it's great for you. And then I give you my own elderberry syrup recipe, and I even teach you guys how to make elderberry gummies. So as soon as you go over to my website, theholistichomesteader.com, there will be a pop-up. I think you put in your email, and then it should be an instant download. And I want to say it's three or four pages. You can take screenshots. You can save it to your files. It's just kind of my gift to you guys. I've had it here in my computer for a while just sitting there and I thought I should give this away to people. I feel like this would be encouraging. So if you don't know, elderberry is amazing for boosting immune systems and um, a lot of people use it to, you know, combat colds and those kinds of things. I will be having, I will be putting out an elderberry syrup and gummy video. So if you guys are visual learners or auditory learners, you'll be able to actually watch me or hear me walk through the steps of making elderberry syrup and making elderberry gummies. So you'll have to stay tuned for those. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great day. I will see you next time on my Ditch It series, Detoxing Your Life. Um, the next video will be day four, and I want to say it's all about nail polish. Yes, that's what it's about. All right, everybody, bye.